hello guys welcome to this video i hope you all are doing good yes nanu romba nalla irken so in the video la we are going to see how to create models and schemas okay using mongoose right so as i already told you mongodb is not a preferred uh, database for applications like parking management system yen abina it involves heavy write operations so or busy ana or mall ninga example eduthikitinga abina i think around there will be uh, 50000 to 1 lakh vehicles entering inside the mall every day okay so let's say it is uh, average of 70000 entries or naalaiki viduna it is what write heavy operation so every day compulsory there will be around 50 to 70000 entries made to the system which is what uh, there will be 50000 to 70000 entries to the database so in the mari write heavy operations ku uh, i always prefer sql okay but it is not that only we can do with sql uh, no sql vachum pannalam okay the only thing is uh, when the application i mean when the database grows the scalability adala konjam tougher ah irukum right uh, so adha pathi nama povena but in the application i have chosen mongodb ye abdina i have not done with mongodb indha mari parking management system ticket booking system la na no sequel mongodb vechi na pannadilla so i am also going to try along with you guys so let's see how this application comes right so uh the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a roles collection because this is the uh, collection slum base right so i go back to models okay so here i have created roles.js so what i have to do is we have to either click new file okay or else right click on models folder and click on new file so anything you wish you can do right so here what i'm going to do i'm going to import mongoose okay so i'm going to say const mongoose equal to what require mongoose so namo oru model create panitte then what we will do we will just copy and paste okay and change the column names wherever required role schema equal to new mongoose dot schema okay and role name so in the schema nam edu create pandrom appadina we are telling some rules for the columns adavadhu ipo pathinga appadina this uh, role name should be of type string okay and it it is a required field so in the mari rule la nam no sql la set pannalam okay so adukku da inda model sendrathu so i say required true and whenever there is a error i am going to display this message role name is required right and a role name should be also unique the next thing is description right so id ellame na small case la vekka poren that is epdi solrad adhu da or right way of creating uh, schema columns right and this is also going to be string and i'm going to set max length so max length edukna how many characters we are going to allow for this column for this particular column so you know description epume konjam periya control nam kudupom ui la or multi line of text kudupom but what users will do they will uh, type so many characters that will not uh, fit for uh, storing okay so nam inga the limit nam set panitom appadina user cannot enter more than 50 characters right so nam adukku or message um tharom description cannot be more than what 50 characters 
okay right so description kaduthu we are going to have a see column called is active okay so this is going to be type boolean boolean means true or false okay is active in the role particular role active or ka illa not active on solradhu and i am going to pass the default value as false okay so when the role is going to be active uh, we have to manually set it as true okay right so we have created three columns and uh, one more thing i am going to do is time stamps so time stamps is very important okay so whenever uh, we build some application whenever some transaction or a crud operation happens we have to know when this particular uh, create update or delete operation happened okay so adu time stamp solittom appadina in the whenever we insert delete or update some data okay the time stamps vand created and modified field uh, automatically create pannom and also it will update some i mean the current uh, date to that created and modified field right so idu romba important time stamps and uh, i'm going to export this model i i'm going to say module dot exports equal to mongoose dot model okay i'm going to name the model which is roles and i'm going to pass this schema that we created right so so everything is fine we created three columns so whenever needed this schema may change adavad namo real application develop panum bodu there may be two or three fields get included to the schema okay appo namba we will again come here and add it another use of schema enna appadina whenever a data is pushed from front end to the back end okay there is a chance that user may send what uh, instead of three columns in the role name description is active illama kuda innoru rendu column data vum anupa vaippu irukku okay so in that case we are not going to allow that extra data to the collection by how by defining the schema so in the schema nam define panadanaala user can send only three columns to the this particular collection not more than that understood yeah so the next thing we are going to create is user profile okay so role schema create paniyaachu i am going to right click here going to say user profile dot js okay so user profile la i am going to uh, okay let's do one thing as i already told you i am going to copy this code and paste it here and change the column names wherever required okay so user schema which is going to be user name okay and role name badala user name is required and user name is going to be unique okay because there is going to be only one user uh, with the same name in the company and uh, the next thing is going to be mobile mobile type vand number ah irukkudu okay and this is also going to be a required field because it po uh, someone's phone number is more useful in so many things so mobile number um number required ah ikaporam mobile number is required okay and the date of joining date of joining and this is going to be type string so the not data vekkala okay the yen abindrada i will tell you when i develop this application okay now let it be string and 
the next thing is going to be address okay so description number address amatilla because address always will be what more characters so i'll keep soundify and sub description here also i'm going to change address cannot be more than okay let it be 50 you know 50 kmela vena right and address create paniyaachu then the next thing is what role okay so in the role endradhu enna appadina we are going to what assign a role to the user so inga user endradhu yara irupaanga appadina user is the one okay who is added to this application so they may be the admin okay super admin as we discussed in the first or second video okay um uh, mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id okay and this is going to be required true because when a user create panna modu we have to set a role to that user and a reference will come from what roles okay so i am explaining one thing so initially we will create some roles like admin super admin parking slot admin okay so whenever we create a user for example we create a user called ganesh okay will say his username mobile number date of joining address and role to ganesh whether is admin super admin or a parking slot admin right so on the role define pandra column da idu right so on the role namu eppadi pannu appadina we will select a role from roles collection so we have created a connection between roles and user profile adavadhu is a sql term la solluna we have created a foreign key okay right and the next thing is identity proof okay so identity proof basically ella companies ne kepanga okay a valid uh, government identity proof and this is going to be again string okay so namba or server layo illa or edathla save panittu and the location oda url la da inga nama kudukka porom so when we develop the system you will understand okay identity proof is going to be true okay it is a required column and a uh, one more field is profile completed so idoda use um namba develop panum bodhu therinjirum and this is going to be type boolean and uh, default is going to be false so default that is going to be hold the false value okay and uh, this is active inge is active venum because whether a user is a active user or a inactive user or a user number organization vittu poitar appadina we can make him inactive okay so other things are going to be same and time stamps it is going to be true here i am going to say use profile and going to pass user profile schema okay i think i have created user schema okay okay let it be user schema right saved it okay so the next thing i'm going to create is what permissions right so user wise namu povom so the permission ku vandu i'm going to create one more a model called permissions right so it is going to be permissions dot js uh so i'm going to copy user profile okay paste it here and the schema name i'm going to change it as permission schema okay and this 
going to be menu name and menu name is required so permissions in uh, we saw a front end right the uh, front end pages now come to that you can see new parking entry roles permissions slots okay in the mari menus la end in the uh, roles ku adu visible a irukano illa not visible a irukano define pandra edam okay for example we want to hide slots for a admin user okay or a what configuring rates section to the admin user right so inge namba enna pannalam appadina in the permissions we can configure uh in the place of menus okay so menu name type string required true and unique is going to be true okay um so inga unique vena nanikiren unique eduthirala and the next thing i'm going to have what is description so i'll delete these two columns mobile and date of joining and instead of address i'm going to change it as description okay menu or description and again description cannot be more than 50 characters and here also we are going to have role okay so or or menus ko enna role accessible a irukno abin define pandrom it is going to be same and uh, identity proof i don't think it is needed i'll remove it and instead of is profile completed i'm going to say is accessible okay boolean default false and uh, is active it is going to be same and here i'm going to change as permissions and in the place of user schema i'm going to say permission schema right so we have created three uh collect three models right and uh, the next thing is going to be what mm, i'll say we can create rates schema so for the rate schema again what i'll do i'll click right click on models new file and say rates.js here i paste it okay so inga nama ena panna porom appadina i'm going to say rate schema so once develop pannana or idu create pannana podum it is easy to recreate okay uh, so instead of username it is going to be rate name uh, so rate define pandra edam one for a light motor vehicle one arc in the rate okay so on the define pandra edam and uh, i'm going to copy this so i don't think we need unique here okay so i'll remove this so i'll copy rate name and paste it here and change it as rate code okay it is going to be type string and required rate code is required and rate code vandha na unique a vekiren so rate code again i tell you when we create it when you see it in the real time you will understand what is rate code and uh, the next field is going to be category and type is going to be array okay so array data type uh, category enna abina whether it's a car bike lorry ad define pandra edam so definitely it, is, it will be multiple items okay so adanal you say array and type again it is going to be array so type enna abina whether the amount is for 1 hour 1 day 2 to 8 hours 2 to 8 days okay one month one week so in the in the uh, data so vandu nam store pandra edam right okay so it is a array and the next thing is rate 
and the type is going to be number okay right type is going to be number and uh, so all the other fields i think we can delete it yeah i deleted it so we created a rate schema okay so i'll name it as rates and here it is going to be rate schema okay good uh, so i'll save this then i go to uh, what slots okay so slots la paathom abina we are going to again create a separate model okay so it is going to be slots dot js right so slots dot js la again i am going to paste it okay sorry so i am going to copy our uh, rates copy panna copy this go to slots paste it so it is going to be slot schema okay so slot number and already i explained uh, when we saw that pt ppt sorry so floor name type string floor name is going to be required field and the next thing is wing name okay so here it is going to be wing name is required going to remove this unique because unique the pay padadu right and uh, the next thing is i'm going to create array of objects okay i'm going to name it as slots so i'll pop on the premium pop on and again the capacity is going to be array of object object sorry you don't pop on and uh, i'm going to have a field called uh, is fully occupied is fully occupied type is boolean default false okay and the active is going to be is active and the floor particular floor is active on pakala and time stamp is going to be true right okay and in the particular array of objects na enna panna pora abina i'm going to create a schema here itself because for end field kaga we don't have to go for a separate schema okay so slot name schema be or pair ekken so irukkadhile romba kashtamana vela naming da irukkadhile romba kashtamana vela file naming image naming okay and variable names the create the name maker kudla namalukku usur poidum slot name okay so it is going to be type string but not a required and it is going to be unique true okay so there is a typo error you know this this available type boolean and default is going to be false so enna panna porom appadina in the particular schema name copy panni inga kuduka porom right so whenever we uh, save some data with the name of this schema okay it is going to be stored under this particular uh, column under slot schema right so they be nam paapo so back end development is going to be really interesting because there are a lot of things to learn in this application and 
capacity schema equal to mongoose dot schema okay. so inside it I'm going to have a field called vehicle type type string required going to be true vehicle type is required Okay, and the next thing is this available type boolean default false. Right. So capacity schema copy pani paste pandra, right? So we have defined the uh, what slot schema. So when you fast up on uh, we have finished rates slots. Now the main thing is parking. So vehicle uh, check in check out allow the entry agamod exit agamod use agra data collection. Okay, so then I'm going create one So I'm going to name it as parking dot js okay uh, copy this paste it here okay um, right so i'm going to change the name as what parking schema okay so here what uh, the first thing is going to be vehicle number so mall in intragra vehicle or number and uh, this will not be a uh, unique because number a same vehicle can come to the mall many times okay so same day lay number end moon what you could have to mall to vehicle number is required and the next thing is check-in check-in is going to be string okay and required is true check-in time is required so vehicle mall ulla entraga mode our check-in time is very important yeah which is the number calculate and check out again it is going to be same so in the field motto name motto mata boro check out yes and the next thing is category so in a type of vehicle will oppose <coughs> excuse me whether it was a light motor vehicle or a heavy vehicle Two wheeler, three wheeler, four wheeler. Uh, park, no? Rate code okay. string rate is going to be type number. rate is going to be type number okay and going to have slot and slot is going to be type mongoose so it is going to be a uh, connection between parking and the slot collections <coughs> Uh, 
uh, is going to be required true required field and ref references from slots okay so in the slot abhi <coughs> indrathu store pandra column idu and total hours is going to be type number okay so ethana mani neram park panirundanga abindra store pandra collection and the next thing is total amount <coughs> Type number, payment mode is going to be type array, payment mode is going to be type array, sorry. type array and inga enum nu namma solrom so enum na enna appadina uh, so whatever uh, data we set here inside enum so adu mattum da inda particular field accept pannum adavadhu we are setting here as cash credit or debit okay uh, upi n e f t or i m p s so in the naal data vandha mattum da in the field la store panna mudiyum which means this field cannot accept values other than this four uh, data okay so payment mode paniyaachu paid status paid status again i'll what i'll do i'll copy this and paste it uh, inside it um uh, so paid status vand what pending moon status vekka pora in progress the third one is going to be completed so payment pending la iruka illa in progress la iruka illa complete aichcha abin solra field is okay and the next column is going to be this paid i think uh, i can uh, delete these things okay so i'll keep role i'll delete identity proof so instead of this profile completed we say this paid okay this paid is going to be type boolean and uh, we are going to have a role field so in the role okay is making the entry to the system adu solra field is i mean edho or person da system munadi ukkandu pora vehicles vandu register panna poranga so who is that person and what is that person's role okay adu get adu store pandra idu and this paid is fine and the last thing is submitted by okay who is the person who is making entry in the system so it is going to be type mongoose dot schema dot types object id uh required is going to be true and ref is going to be user profile okay so in is active vana because once the entry is made we don't have to say whether it is active or not okay and uh, this is going to be parking and parking schema Okay. So I have saved it. 
so the last thing we are going to see is uh, what storing the company details so company details la store pandra or collection oda schema la nam create panna porom so as usual i am going to click right click on models uh, create new file okay and it is going to be company details dot js okay so in the company gets the company details edukku uh, appadina in the particular application use pandra company okay adoda details adoda contact number so namba site la enga venala display panikalam okay so adukku da in the schema collection sorry so i'm going to copy this uh, rates okay <coughs> going to change the schema name schema name is going to be company schema and as usual uh, i'm going to rename all the fields company name okay uh, company name and the required okay <coughs> excuse me and uh, it is going to be unique la ore or data da irukku podu okay so there there will be only one data so we don't need unique here and the next thing is mobile okay uh, mobile is going to be type number right and it is not going to be the required field you know it just uh, company details la display pandrera okay so that is not going to be any impact they don't enter the mobile number right and uh, the next thing is going to be email okay email is going to be string and uh, address okay so kandipa or company ka address rakho and address is going to be string uh max length so engengala address description the field la varudho anga we have to impose max length the uh, value so yeah abina there is a chance that user may enter more than 50 500 uh, characters okay and uh, if that is the case okay uh, your uh, collection what will become so very huge right and uh, so mango tv la pathinga appadina oru oru collection oda size should not exceed above 16 mb okay so 16 mb size is the maximum so whenever uh, we define a schema okay uh, we should be very careful that so munnadi namba predict pannano indha particular uh, collection will grow so much okay so adu ketha mari we have to design the schema okay uh, so inga namba or 7 schema 7 collection create pannirukom so i think there will be uh, no chance for a collection to exceed uh, more than 16 mb okay so if at all it happens we'll see how we will manage that right okay and the next column is going to be gst number okay uh, gst because now gst is uh, compulsory for all the companies okay and the last one is going to be owner details so owner details is going to be okay objects so object sign and i'll show you owner name okay owner name is going to be type string again right and so idella na required field a vekkala because uh 
இதெல்லாம் நம்ம என்டர் பண்ணலனாலும் நோ இம்பேக்ட் ஐ மீன் இந்த ஒர்க்கிங் ஆஃப் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஸோ வில் ஜஸ்ட் கிரியேட் திஸ் காலம்ஸ் ஓகே இமெயில் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி டைப் ஸ்ட்ரீம் and the last one is address so what i'll do i'll copy this okay and paste it below right. so uh number for example slots at the top you know you can see here we created array of objects uh we created a separate schema okay idu vand object object right but we are storing that in slot schema as a array of objects so idu vandu or array bracket la so yen yeah, abina for a single floor there may be many slots and that slot is what an object so it may be slot a slot b slot c slot d so adu ellame it belongs to a single floor okay so that should be stored as a array but company details at the thing abina it is a single object okay so owner details there will be a single owner okay so most of the cases that there will be single owner uh abigana we will store the main owner right so idukku nam array of objects nam store panna vendiya avasiyam illa okay uh, right so i think uh, is active is not needed and time stamps is going to be true okay and uh, this i'm going to change it as company details okay and uh, it's going to be company schema right so i'll save this okay so we have we are successfully created this models right so as i already told you what um so schema nam edu create pandrom appadina schema without schema there will not be any rules imposed to the collections so adanal enna agum appadina um so sila fields oda data la nam miss panna vaayppu irukku for example we have kept Uh, some of the fields as required here to take uh, rates collection rate schema okay so rate name and the number required not so wrong but if you don't keep this there is a chance that user may don't enter the value of rate name and there is a chance of losing the data so your schema when we create when it will not user will not be able to miss the required fields and the, all these validations are miss agad also one more thing is uh when we have our schema created okay our mongoose will not allow the fields i mean the columns other than the columns that are uh, created here for example i already told you in the beginning of this video okay so we have uh, menu name description role is accessible is active okay so user vand front end la rendu data anupum bod there is a chance that uh, one or two uh, more uh, columns may get appended as uh, object okay so on the mari scenario la when it comes to the back end this particular schema will validate the number of uh, columns that are coming i mean uh, the data that are coming to the back end okay so i validate panni it will take only the column data that are uh, defined here and it will neglect the other columns right so idha uh, ungalku or when we go to the i mean when we finish our back end and when we go to our front end as or uh, example panni kattrom right so all set guys uh, i have created our models so the next thing i'm going to create is controllers right so probably we'll do that in a separate video right so 
if you have any doubts in this video uh, you can write a comment or uh, you can write an email to me i'm always available here to uh, what help you guys right so we'll see in the next video guys thank you bye